And now to Warren, where a suspect has died after a police chase that turned into a crash. It ended at 10 Mile Ryan when the suspect slammed into a truck, ending up all the way underneath it. 7 Action News reporter Whitney Burney has the latest on what led to the initial chase. Police say that red Chevy Cruze was coming down 10 mile at the time. At the same time, the Penske truck was coming the opposite direction. They crash in the middle of the intersection, sending that Penske truck all the way to the other side of the street. Near the corner of 10 mile and Ryan. We saw ambulance and fire trucks and everything. So we came this way and we came and parked and we got out and we saw a car mm -hmm. underneath a truck. Pieces of a vehicle mark the end of a police chase. Warren police say just before noon on Tuesday, officers attempted to stop a driver believed to be in his 20s near Van Dyke in Stevens. Shortly after police made contact with that driver, they say he sped off, leading police on a three-minute long chase. Police say that chase ended when the driver ran a red light at 10 Mile and Ryan, hitting an F-150 and then a Penske truck, causing the Chevy Cruze to catch fire. Although police were able to put the fire out quickly, the driver died on scene. Police say no one else was injured. Obviously, it's just not worth it. Uh, this individual, um, you know, had a long life ahead of him. And unfortunately, uh, he's no longer with us because of the, the pursuit. Uh, put a lot of innocent people's lives in danger. It's still unclear what the initial reason was for the traffic stop. Just last month, the department said their officers had already been involved in more than 260 police chases since the beginning of 2023. We've lived here for about five years now, and seems like every day there's some type of car accident because of a police chase. Jacqueline Lentz says she wants the chases to stop because of how many innocent people could possibly be caught in the crosshairs. Slow down. Slow down. It, it, it's not worth it. You had the license plate. You know where he lives. This could have been prevented. Police say they did recover an unregistered gun from the vehicle. The chase remains under investigation. We take anything into consideration. Uh, road conditions, the weather, uh, traffic conditions, things like that. The one thing that we've learned through the pursuits over the years is just because we back off doesn't necessarily mean that the person running from us is going to slow down. It still creates a, a danger for the community. So again, we've taken many factors into consideration before we either allow a pursuit to continue or terminate the pursuit. In Warren, Whitney Burney, 7 Action News.